Considered one of the most beautiful places on earth, the scenic Blue Mountains, which stands 2,256 meters or 7,402 feet high, is home to more than 500 species of plants, the world's second largest butterfly, and proud maroons. It's also home to a communal group who have turned their backs on traditional society, are living off the grid and have returned to nature. Called the El Silasia School of Vision, or Rasta Camp, their spiritual leader, Dermot Fagan, a controversial figure, Fagan is seen as a priest by followers and a prophet. But in some corners of society, he's at best an eccentric recluse. I took the physical and spiritual journey into the Blue Mountains to meet with the self-styled diviner who has reportedly been prophesying about the coronavirus or COVID-19, which has since March 30 taken more than 30,000 lives globally. We know that when the mark is upon us, can you see, Revelation 14, verse 9 and 10 says, And the third angel sound the trumpet. We don't mean foo foo foo, word, sound, and power. Woe be unto the inhabitants of the earth, right here on this planet, that have received the mark of the beast. His image, which is the Jesus that they put up, that is Lucifer, and his power is a pentagram. I don't afraid to speak. I speak now to the whole world that want to hear this truth. You see, his time is coming to an end. So that is why it is necessary for all the plagues. It is necessary for COVID-19 now. You know why? It is a sophisticated plan by the Illuminati for a world depopulation. Why do I say world depopulation? What are the characteristics of Lucifer? His characteristics are he come to steal. That is why I tell the people that is Jesus in J-E-S-U-S, the man named Jesus. Steal, kill, and destroy. So we look at Coro 19 to see it is destructive work. And the purpose for that is to cut down the numerology of humanity. Why? They have said that by 2030, there won't be sufficient food to supply the world population. So I don't know. These people think there's no nice days ahead. It is a clever tactics to see, to test like a man make a car, a man make a machine. He try to test it first. To, def to decide when or determine when it is proper to go out in distribution. The Illuminati, I want to say, is what now I've done this year now to test, to test and to observe the reaction of the world population, which is a clever plan. Priest Fagan has been the leader of the El Selassie School of Vision or Rasta Camp for 23 years. He preached in Papin Square, St. Andrew for 14 of those years. He balances his spiritual life with pragmatic pursuits, such as farming. Like many who call the commune home, Priest Fagan feels a deep connection with Mother Nature. His followers, who are from all across the world, live a life that is simple. They grow their own food and spend time growing their spirituality. Uh, my prayer was on the farm. I'm a young minister, but the prayer was on the farm mainly. The farm is the right way, you know, because many are going to come in time you know, and want to give them food when they fall, you know, so. Where well, the scripture based upon the wise man till the soil, you know. So that's why we are here, you know, till the soil, you know, preparing for the great and terrible day, you know, that we can have food. How important is this mountain to you? Well, like I said, this is a chosen mountain. And, you know, it's all about the farming. And, you know, it's just a, a gathering where we can, you know, for bringing God people, take the Gospels. You know, so boy, Ali Selassie is the Almighty. Yeah, man, so his people is coming to the mountain, so it's all about farming, creativity. Well, naturally, based upon Revelation, according to the scripture, it's saying, you know, the world has a face of microchip, where no man can buy nor sell without this microchip, so. Knowing them things that you Revelation 13 verse 16, I now realize a uh, one way. Because I just say, you know, the mountain shall bring peace unto the people them. And there I now find a foundation where build a place for his people. Because I just uh, flee to the mountains. So I now yet to the mountain of base account to Revelation. Prepare ourselves with the rest of the virgins them. Yeah, and wise preparation for the mark of the beast, meaning that I and I have a the soil. Priest Fagan expresses a disconnect with modern society. My retreat there, our occupation, 
is specifically for the things I have been saying for years. And for example, then, if a man is a fisherman, you expect him, you expect him to go to the sea or where the water is to do fishing. I could be telling the people all these years, Mr. Bowen, seven times I've been there, been interviewed by BBC, CNN TV, all over the world they interview me, and I've been saying the same thing. So, whether we treat our occupation, we are here to fulfill the will of the Almighty God. We know what is coming. And COVID-19 is one of them. But without a doubt, it is one of the plagues. According to priest Fagan, the COVID-19 disease is among a list of prophetic visions he has been warning the society about for over two decades. But we know that the revelations speak of the plagues. So when we say dark days, what the people need to look at now, if they want to look, or if they want to hear, isn't this crisis the first and only devastating crisis we have had like this in Jamaica? I am 66. I never seen a day here where the country locked down to this state. And I'm thankful for a wise prime minister who realized that he could not just shut down everything overnight, even though it can be exacerbated further, where he might have to lock down things for another month or two months. The people need to realize also now, if it is so and continued, how would these people in Jamaica manage? You wouldn't be able to get no rice, no flour, nothing would be coming in no more. No hail. They don't have nothing down here because you don't have no farm to sustain yourself. The market where the, the people in the corporate area normally go for shopping, get their foods, are the edibles. What the minister is saying, from 6 in the morning till 2. And we give thanks for it. But suppose this thing here now stretch out further where the market must be locked perpetually. To say then for two weeks, three weeks straight, how these people in the community is going to survive. So that is why you see. I have taken the land and I'm still in occupation because we know that when the mark is upon us. Priest Fagan says he envisioned the dark days ahead and he and his members have been preparing for this time. The priest says the members of the Yale Selassie School of Vision have been playing their part spiritually in the elimination of the pandemic which has been triggered by the COVID-19 virus. I pray to God and that is why even now as I speak to you Maybe I shouldn't be saying it, but I have instructed the, um, our church, School of Vision, that we will apply ourselves in fasting, and even now we are into that spirit. And my mind is saying to me that instead of 14 days as the government started, we will move towards the Passover, which is the 14th day of the month, Abib, April, in commemoration to when the Almighty God passed through Egypt. We want to be in that frame and state and spiritual mindset that the Almighty God will show mercy and to I and I that keep at his Ten Commandments and instruct others to do that. And not only for our immediate comfort and securities. I have instructed the congregation also in our prayers, congregationally or selectively, that we must be remembered our heads of state. Because law is not a terror to those of good work, so we are not anti-societal. We pray for the Prime Minister, we pray for the one in the opposition, and we pray for the people that are helping the leadership and management of our country. And the world at large, this is a time now that we invoke the Almighty God by His presence for mercy. Mercy upon His people, because the Bible teaches me that Christ did not come to condemn, but to what? To save and to grant salvation. But the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. So as one of his priests, I pray for mercy out of heaven and that he remember not only Jamaica where his name, which is highly celestial, is propagated from, but show the mercy to the people and help us to combat that demon known as the devil. A former member of the Jamaica Defense Force, Priest Fagan says his spirituality was the main reason he left the army and retreated to the Blue Mountains to be closer to his deity. Reporting for the news on PBCJ, I'm Marlon Samuels.